Week two of the fantasy football season. And here's a few wide receivers I'd look to start this week. The first guy, I'm uh, St. Brown of the Detroit Lions. A lot of people thought St. Brown was a fluke last season coming into this year. But he picked up where he left off as well. And this Lion team, they're going to be trailing a lot this season early and often. Where they're going to have to throw the ball 40, 45 times a game and play catch up. And that's where St. Brown did most of his damage in garbage time and catch up time here for this Detroit Lion team. Eight catches, 64 yards. And a touchdown on 12 targets in week one versus the Philadelphia Eagles. And in week two, I could see the same type of game script and same type of game with the Washington Commanders. Where this game, I could see both teams going up and down the field. So right here, DJ Chark had a good ball game as well for the Lions. I think that's a pretty decent 1-2 combo over there in Detroit. And St. Brown, I think, continues to roll in this one. And I wouldn't be surprised if he has anywhere from 15 to 18 fantasy points in PPR leagues here. And he's a wide receiver I would start as a number two or flex option this week. The next wide receiver is Juju Smith-Schuster of the Kansas City Chiefs. So Juju, the thing with him has always been health. And in week one, he looked healthy versus the Arizona Cardinals. And he had a mediocre ball game, six catches, 79 yards, and a fumble loss. But right here in week two, he's got a matchup where I think it's gonna be a shootout in a division ball game with the Chargers and the Kansas City Chiefs. And he had eight targets. I know Patrick Mahomes spread that football out for the five touchdowns he threw in that ball game. But right here, Kansas City's home at Arrowhead. It's going to be an up and down the field type of ball game. And Thursday night, we usually see more offense with these teams, more than anything than the defenses after coming off a three-day rest. So right here, Juju Smith-Schuster as a number two option or a flex, I think could have a decent ball game. And as long as he's healthy, he's a player that could put up in this offense weekly, anywhere from 13 to 15 fantasy points, I believe. And he's a wide receiver I would start this week. The next guy, Michael Pittman Jr. of the Indianapolis Colts. So Michael Pittman, what a week one he had versus the Houston Texans. And him and Matt Ryan already look like they're on the same page. A huge ball game, nine catches, 121 receiving yards, and a touchdown on 13 targets. Good. Got another great matchup. In week two with the Jacksonville Jaguars. I got shredded by Carson Wentz, who threw for over 300 yards. And receivers had three touchdowns in that ball game as well. So right here, I think he has a good game once again is Michael Pittman. And he's quickly becoming a number one, low-end number one wide receiver for fantasy owners. And as long as him and Matt Ryan continue to work on things and stay on the same page, I think he has a great season. And I think he has a great ball game here in week two at Jacksonville, where I could see him get 100 yards in this one as well and possibly find the end zone. The next wide receiver is Cortland Sutton of the Denver Broncos. So Cortland Sutton, a big wide receiver that could get down the field. He could get go up there and make the jump ball. And he's got speed as well. He could do everything in my opinion is Cortland Sutton. The only thing is health has been a concern for him and him getting the targets. Week one, only seven targets, four catches, 72 yards. But it's a weird type of game and I think it was a feel out type of game as well with Russell Wilson and these wide receivers. Wilson was hitting a lot of tight ends and screens to Javante Williams out of the backfield. But here in week two, I think they're going to stretch the field more. Houston Texans, they're vulnerable to giving up the big play. And like I mentioned with Pittman versus Houston in week one, he had 127 yards. And I think Sutton in this one, he could have 80, 90 total yards in this ball game and find the end zone as well because I don't see Houston really stopping this Bronco offense really as long as the Broncos take care of the football, which they didn't do on Monday Night Football with a few fumbles in that ball game. Fifth and final wide receiver I look to start this week's Terry McLaurin of the Washington Commanders. So week one, he, if he didn't get that 41-yard touchdown, he didn't do much in that ball game was Terry McLaurin. Only two catches, 58 yards, and a touchdown on four targets. But right here, Carson Wentz, he was airing that ball out. And Carson Wentz, that's what he does. He's a guy that's a gunslinger. He's going to take shots. He's going to take opportunities. And McLaurin, it looks like he has some help at least in this wide receiving core over there in Washington. Curtis Samuel looked good. If he could stay healthy, he could be a decent option. And Jahan Dotson, the rookie, looked good. And he was everything he was built up to be in week one with the two touchdowns, including an amazing catch in the back of the end zone. So right here, Terry McLaurin, I think in this one, he'll have a good ball game. Detroit, they don't really stop anyone. It's an indoor game. We saw A.J. Brown go over 150 yards receiving in week one. I'm not saying McLaurin's gonna do all that, but I think in this one, it'll be more consistent and have a better ball game. I think he could have anywhere from five to six catches, 70, 80 yards, and find the end zone in this one. And he's a wide receiver I would start this week. So that's a few wide receivers I would start here for week two of the fantasy football season.